Hey everyone, uh, Angelo here, homeless filmmaker in LA. Living in my car for about 18 months now. Um, my hair is getting so long, for me at least, you see in the back here. I swear, I think like a bug's on my neck or something. I don't realize like I have longer hair that. Can you see it in the. Well, now I can't see it. When I turn, it's an illusion. But uh, I don't know how people with long hair do it. It's um, it's too long. But I really can't afford a haircut. I seriously cannot now. Just paid my cell phone bill and uh, car insurance. Thank goodness the car insurance bill was lower because of the way when uh, the quarantine came, um, my car insurance company let people uh, delay payments. And so I paid like two... I delayed it a little bit, but then I paid two months in one month, and then somehow it worked out to I only owed like $16. If it wasn't for that, I would seriously be like dead broke, like possibly starving. LA now has some... Um, I, I don't understand exactly how this counted but the most infections in the country we had like 7162 infections on June 23rd and uh, I know Florida has still has more cases than us and Florida has like twice the population of LA like 22 million people and so over twice and LA has 10 million people but uh, I don't understand how this uh, description of this headline from ABC News said uh, LA now leads the country in infections I don't quite understand because uh, what is it? Uh, how many? Uh, Florida still has like I forget what it is, like twenty-two thousand more infections or something. I don't know. But um, definitely the r amount of like the uh, ratio of infections per capita is higher here. It sounds like. Um, so this is uh, I'm, I'm like well they opened too early. And now the governor is urging people to stay home. Huh, interesting. You can tell how fate, big my face has gotten now. Somehow I, I was so good at losing weight and all of a sudden it's like I gained like, what, 10 pounds or something probably in two days? I don't know. I think those tacos at Jack in the Box that are $1.52, so I get them because they're super cheap. I think um, they're probably like loaded with like twice the calories they say or something. I don't know. Uh, I, I can't say that like uh, as an accusation or what, or just something's up. I don't know. Or I'm miscounting calories because, uh, and I don't get cheese on them because I get those because they're super cheap, and yet I'm gaining weight and I'm not eating a lot, and um, I'm not going to try and eat much tonight. But yeah, it's tough, and I'm working out so damn hard, like an hour in the morning burpees. Although I get, I end up daydreaming so much. I'll stand around and be like, oh shit, like I just realized like, wait, I didn't even do burpees for like five minutes. Um, so I'm going to try and speed up the pace tomorrow morning. The sun's still up. I'm going to sleep real early tonight. I already took a nap at like seven o'clock. It's like 8.30 now or something. And not even 8.30 probably. And um, I've been thinking, you know, man, I, I really could use a home now. It's not that I'm absolutely desperate for one. Uh, I can keep writing my screenplays in notebooks, but it's easier to type in a way I can move faster and delete stuff and all that in uh, my whatever this word processor program I got that's free, WPS, word processor, so I didn't have to pay a bunch of money for Microsoft Word. I was actually willing to, they offered it to me for 20 bucks when I got my laptop, but I turned it down not realizing how much more expensive Microsoft Word is normally. So in the end, I save 20 bucks anyways. I just get ads once in a while on uh, this WPS word processor. But I'm like, man, uh, it would help to have a home. But how do I do that? Um, I'm not really trying to work now with the just explosion in infections. And they say like 80 or 90% of the country is probably going to have this disease at some point. I'm like, well, I want to be in the 10% or 20% that doesn't. Uh, but somehow I have to survive, so that is uh, really tough, and, you know, I felt bad, I turned down a job that starts in about mm, three and a half weeks, because I'm like, it's only going to be worse then, 
And how do I isolate? It's hard enough. You know, I'll be going to the gym to try and shower or uh, showering on the street, um, which I'm not necessarily near anyone when I do that. But um, anyway, it would have been a huge challenge with the schedule of the film, making sure I can do it on the street when no one's around, all that kind of stuff. Um, not that it's a big problem here, but it was in another area that I don't know as well, that I know it's, it would be harder to do that and get away with it. You know, without being run off by neighbors or something. So, it was tough. I didn't like doing that at all. I hate quitting. I hate feeling like, oh, uh, Angelo quit. You know, he just doesn't want to work. That's not it at all. I've worked on a bunch of productions in the last year, long hours, but... Anyways, it's just not safe. They're urging people to stay inside, and yet they're not imposing a quarantine. So, and certainly not helping people stay home with, you know, assistance. Anyways, that's going to make me manic. Fuck, I don't want to do that. I'm get, doing so well with my dissociative disorder. Working on my screenplays. Now I've branched off from just working on one to a second one that I've thought about for a while, and I had no idea how to do it. Really had no clue. Because I'm like, oh man, how do you find the right tone with this thing? It's going to be so tough. Um, I don't want to get into the story, but uh, I didn't know how to do it. And then I've been getting so much, first of all, recovering from my disorder and getting so much better at figuring out how do I write? How do I come up with story ideas? How do I outline? That's all I'm doing right now is just outlining, outlining. And uh, when I feel this urge to write something else, I'm like, oh man, it sucks. Like, I feel this burden. I have to do it. I have to write. Because, uh, like, I need to get this thing out of me. And it's just this urgency that I feel to do it. And, you know, with that comes stress and the need to focus and not just want to do what I did before all the time and I still am prone to doing, which is just get up away from the computer and just pace around, you know, I gotta be loose so I don't have this build up of pressure where it's like I gotta get up and walk around. It's fine sometimes, but um, anyways, I'm getting better at this thing. So uh, my options are limited now. But I think that's my best, that's my best way of trying to succeed is when the odds are against me. So, I'm going to keep working, but uh, yeah, it'd be good to have a home really just to be able to write at any time. Um, I'm lucky someone's letting me use their um, space. Uh, you've seen it on camera before if you watch my videos, this art, art, artist performance venue. But I'm like, man, every... The guy's super generous, doesn't seem to mind at all that I asked to use it because it's shut down now. And even though, yeah, they're opening some things back up, it's, you know, he's being very conscious about letting people back in there. And uh, it's like, you know, whatever, I can't stress myself about using it. It's not going to give me any more time in there. So I ask on a regular basis, I go in there, uh, and um, I'm just realizing, oh, excuse me. Because I don't know when the libraries are going to open again, and I certainly wouldn't feel safe going into libraries. You know, it'd be good to have a home now. I don't, like, long for it. I don't, like, oh, badly regret that I don't have one. I'm like, this is, like, the best odds for me, again, are odds that are not in my favor, because I'll do even better, as I've always done. And, uh, you know, putting more work on myself, more responsibility. I get up every day early. Well, I'm messing up my wake-up times. But working out in the mornings. I'm working out better now than I ever did at the gym. And um, I finally couldn't do more burpees today. I did them for like four or five days in a row for like an hour. Today, those fireworks are... I don't know why people are finding fireworks so much. And you can hear the echo, like the... It's interesting, it's like in movies, you know, you see the fireworks, sometimes I'll see it in the sky, and then you hear it two or three seconds later. I'm like, oh, that's interesting, maybe that'll be in a movie. But, uh, it would be good just to be able to write, because I know, you yeah. this is what I need to do. I need to be writing, I need to be working on videos, 
I can't let myself, uh, you know, be irresponsible and say, oh, I'm overwhelmed and all this. Yeah, that was a big problem when my disorder, my dissociative disorder was worse. worse. Uh, depersonalization, derealization. It's getting better. Writing is helping me. I could not have written uh, like three months ago. And maybe, I don't know when I started writing again, like a month ago. Even then... It was slow going to the point where I'm now I'm like, okay, I'm really ready to really get into this and access these emotions. Still not all the way recovered, but I'm getting there. And again, just writing's helping a lot. So uh, I'm trying to lose some of this weight, this extra weight on my face, and um, I'm not going to eat tonight. And uh, just keep moving, doing what I need to. Don't think about it too much. So, and I'm sleepy now. But, uh, yeah, again, just not put wild amounts of pressure on myself. It's interesting. I, you know, just realized a way of working that where it's just, you know, let the work keep going. Don't try and constrict it and squeeze it and, like, force it to keep going. And that's just something that t took time to learn. So, at the tender age of uh, 55. No, not 55. But, um just taking time, you know, I don't know how people do it when they were younger, for me, I couldn't, didn't want to learn, didn't want to understand, and it was just too, you know, whatever, too much uh, compulsive energy, which is still always in me, in a way, so anyways, I'm getting ready to go to sleep, and uh, again, good thing, washing, uh, showering in the street with my clothes, even though the gym's open, and I did do this one day in the gym, I washed with my clothes on, and then uh, took them off and then finished my shower. But um, I don't need to pay to go to laundry. Yeah, my clothes would be a little bit, like, fresher if I actually washed them at a um, laundromat. But I easily pay, like, $4 or so per load. And then drying, it's pretty cheap. It's just $0.25 cents for, like, eight minutes at most places. Oh, there we go. All right. Um, well, I think that says it all. <laughs> so... Keep watching everyone, like the videos, all that. This is a, um, yeah, I don't want to say anything. Just uh, keep, uh, keep going, everyone. I'm going to keep working.